art, but for others, it's thousands of dollars and dozens of hard work hours to clean up. Vandalism has been an ongoing issue on one Brown County trail, and the cost of repairs are racking up. Fox 11's Marla Lundak is following the money for us tonight. For weeks, a bridge on the Mountain Bay State Trail in Howard looked like this. And all it takes is really one bad apple that um, disrespects and doesn't have the um, capacity to appreciate what we offer to our community and wrecks it for everybody. Brown County Parks Director Matt Creasy and the Brown County Sheriff's Office say the graffiti on the trail has been an issue for months and cleaning it up is costlier and more labor intensive than you might think. We ordered special chemical from California, which had minimal success. We set up a special pressure washing rig um, that had minimal success. We had staff attempt to scrape with wire brushes with minimal success. We have hours and hours, 20, 30 hours or more of full-time staff trying to remove graffiti from an old wooden bridge. And the final product that we came up with is essentially to paint it. Vandalism like this is unavoidable to users on the trail too. Um, I just think they could use their talents and put it elsewhere. It's nothing that I really want to see. If you're that good of an artist, you know, draw, um, you know, something um, <laughs> that has good intentions, not, you know, vandalize things that people enjoy. Although the graffiti has been covered up now, the county says they're still monitoring the area, and some users tell me they're taking a little more caution while they're on the trails. I used to walk this trail by myself, and I don't anymore because I just don't feel safe anymore. Because of this stuff, I don't really know what it means, you know? Thursday, the Brown County Sheriff's Office confirmed with Fox 11 that a 20-year-old has been cited twice, once in February and once in April, for the graffiti on the trail, and the county is requesting restitution for the vandalism on top of the more than $600 in fines he's already facing. We're not going to tolerate it. Uh, we don't have the resources as is to accomplish what we need to, much less throwing a wrench of hours and hours of labor into something that, uh, you know, we don't uh, appreciate. In Brown County, Marlo Lundak, Fox 11 News. The Brown County Parks Director says county staff will continue weekly inspections of all county parks and trails. Crews will put in extra surveillance where it's needed.